What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another one, and today, got this in the mail, in motion V12, high torque, FedEx man, dude, my favorite thing to see, so, this right here, dudes, in motion V12 from E-Wheels, came in right here, check that baby out, V12 from E-Wheels, camera's awesome, I got a light and a microphone on my, on a nice camera, because y'all complain about the audio, and dude, it sounds so much better. I got a literally, like, the microphone I got is awesome, dude. It's, it is, it should sound great compared to the other one. Oh, baby. Check it out, dudes. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's, it's so nice when you get a new wheel, bro. Like, with all the plastic on it, and it's like, in perfect condition like this this is what they usually look like if they're not a demo wheel but because I like to be destructive with them I usually get the wheels um, after they've been rode a little bit but dude this is beautiful I love the, the Inmotion V12 is just a sick platform as it is there's not too many changes but look at this, dude. Right off the bat, this is the big, big thing. Look at this new upgraded rim. Guys, they listen to me. The input I have is actually big on this, guys. And and that last video where I dented the rim on the Inmotion V12, this is what they immediately fixed. They even made it a different color. <laughs> it shows you that they fixed this, bro. So look, even matches the wides, bro. So they fixed the rim, upgraded that, made it way more stronger. And then, check this out. Hold on, hold on. I gotta bring you all closer and explain this whole, whole rundown, bro. Cause they've been listening to me, dude. And that's crazy. They don't, they don't make it known that they're listening to me, I think, so they don't have to pay me for this stuff. But they're listening to me, guys. They're looking at the videos. Inmotion V12 was such a good wheel, I even raced it at Apple Valley. Outstanding wheel. And I think for anybody out there that wants to get into the hobby, like I said, for the price point, you can't beat the Inmotion V12 with this one, dudes. What I said was wrong on this one is the weak point, the weak point I found with the V12 was the rim. I rode this thing down a set of stairs and ended up denting my rim. In motion responded by this guys they literally came in gave us a wheel with a knobby tire so a thicker ply tire stock on this with an upgraded rim and I know the rim just looks orange on this one but they literally made the thing orange to let us know for sure they upgraded this thing it's changed it's different it's beefier now and you can even hear a difference guys listen to this check this out you can hear You can hear a difference in the metal, guys. It, the, this one, the new one, is actually thicker. Substantially thicker. It's not just BS, and it's not just a new damn color on it. It's way thicker. Um, the tread on it's upgraded. And everything on the Inmotion V12 that was right, that they did right on this wheel, which was a lot, they kept on it. So, the shell, the front bumpers, the headlights, the display, all that stuff, which was rocking on it, no problem. High pedal hangers on this thing. You know, for the price point of this wheel, and now it being extremely off-road capable, even for a heavier weight person, um, I think this is, I mean, dude, uh, good luck other companies, because InMotion's coming to compete, bro. I mean, they're coming to compete. For the price point on this wheel, upgrading all this stuff on it, I think this is going to be a gem right here, guys. I can't wait to get out and ride this thing and try it. I'm about to get out and ride it right now, so... In motion V12 high torque in the building. Let's go. Guys, it even matches the KTM carpet. Oh man, look at that thing. That is so sick. Bro, this with KTM stickers is gonna be amazing. It already has an orange rim on it, dude. The anodized orange rim. Oh in motion. Did y'all seriously do this? 
just for me. I mean, y'all literally upgraded the rim that cracked in the last one. I said it needed a knobby tire, and then they made the rim even orange, bro. What? <laughs> what? They had to have, bro. Oh, look at this wheel, dude. Crispy, crispy, new in motion v12 high torque with a knobby tire bro so this is the main thing to look at on this new wheel upgraded rim guys you can already see on this thing it is substantially beefier guys it does not look like that really thin rim like last time that is a big key thing if you want a city commuter wheel if you want a a wheel that's small form factor without suspension that's cost efficient guys and um you know i mean i i swear dude i raced this thing and the one thing the one thing i didn't like about it was that the rim oh mine's right over there i was wondering where the hell my in motion v12 was it's, it's right there i've been riding that one actually the most guys i literally had to return the s20 the other day and the wheel I've been riding since I had to return, return the S20 over the Sherman, the EXN, over the scooter, over everything else has been my, my in-motion V12. It's right over there by the door. So the one closest to the door is the one I've been riding, and that's the V12. And this is the V12 high torque. Up, upgraded rim, and now this is going to be like a four-ply tire on here, guys. Three or four-ply tire, which this is going to be huge because this is just way more... Um, impact resistance with tread on here now when you're when you're going into um, any situation where you would have a dented rim beforehand you have the protection of a knobby tire more ply on the tire and a, a upgraded rim and it's orange so you know it's fire please activate your vehicle please activate the vehicle so I need to please activate your vehicle you need to connect it to the app, dude. Like th these in motion V12s are Please beautiful. Please active your vehicle. Check it. Check out the little panel on the top. You just gotta connect the Please app. Please active your vehicle. And get this thing rolling. Here, we'll do that real quick. Please active your vehicle. In motion, y'all did good with this, dudes. I'm I'm liking it so far. I mean, if y'all upgraded the rim on it and put a tire on there that's gonna keep the rim from getting damaged, that's all we needed. Straight up. It was a gr it was such a good wheel. I raced the thing. And I didn't think the other one lacked in torque at all, but we're going to see with this one and see how much more torquey it is. If if this one's literally made to be a high torque wheel, I mean, I can only imagine, dude. Like, it's going to be gnarly. Gnarly. It's going to be gnarly. Because the other one, I, I did not think it needed any more torque. Because you with this wheel like this, where it's not where basically there's not a lot of room from the actual motor to the outside of the tire like with other wheels you have spokes in here and it increases the amount of room from the motor to the outside of the tire which in turn is like a having a really high gearing where it takes a long time to get that thing to come around um, or a lot of force to get that thing to come around with a smaller wheel like this where the motor is closer to the outside of the tire right here it just already had a lot of torque, but now it it being an actual high torque wheel, this is even wider now that I'm looking at this. This part's even wider right here, the, to pack in that those more motor winds in there. This thing's gonna be gnarly, man. Especially for the off road, um, mud riding, trail riding. I can really um, just only imagine. And I'm gonna run my tire pressure, guys. I'm not gonna run it as high as I was running my other one because they've upgraded the rim and they've I'm gonna run it at the actual point that it says to run it at on this thing and I'm gonna run it um, probably on the lower end of it trail ride it and I think I'm not gonna have a problem I shouldn't have any issues I should be able to hit rocks should be able to corner on this thing I love the high pedals of the inmotion v12 uh, that's why I raced it but I think that this thing's gonna be awesome. I think it's gonna be everything I wanted in this wheel. So let's fire it up. Oh man, that little light on top of that camera works, bro. I got a new little light and a new microphone. We're good to go. What's up, kitty? What's up? What's that, dirt bike? What's that, dirt bike? This is my cat. Her name is Dirt Bike. You'll probably know that, but the OG. What's up? 
you coming to help me out with this? You don't, do you like the InMotion app? How do we do this, your bike? Where is it? We're gonna search for the vehicles, your bike. Don't bump, don't bump it out of the way, kitty. What is it? Not gonna find it? Let's turn it back on. Kitty, move out of the way. I'm trying to do a video. You must sit right in front of the camera. They can't see the unicycle now, kitty. They can't see the unicycle now. They want to see you instead? So this is the app. And then, when you press the power button, it should pop up. And you just click, click on the little first little one right there that pops up. And then, boom, you're connected. And... All right, let's see here. I have already read the safety guidance. Give me power. Give me the power, baby. All right, now let's get this show on the road. thing somewhere. There should be a QR code on this baby girl somewhere. I think it's on the motor. Ain't it? Shoot ya. Yeah, your QR code should be on the motor, so scroll it around to there. There's your QR code right there, boy. Alright. Hello. You have to allow the in motion up to use the camera in the settings. Is the in motion up? Alright, so allow the in motion app to use the camera. After you allow it to use the camera. Oh! Alright, so I went in here into the app and just did a few things. Put you can mess with this which is really weird honestly getting it dialed in is, is tricky getting your speed and braking dialed in when you split the ride modes but it really does dude you can really change your speed and your braking and how it performs and corners and everything with those two things and just mess with it a lot or you can just leave it alone and just have it at 50 50 but whatever you choose on there and you can set up a password you can put it in transport mode Set up your standby time, all that stuff right there. The app is nice with in motion wheels, guys. That's one other good thing is, I mean, the app is nice. I hate the fact that they won't want you to download an app and want all this crap that, you know, I wish you could just power the wheel on and use it and fool with it on there, but the app is nice. You can change, you can turn on your lights and everything in the app. Which is awesome. Got low beam, high beam, off, and then you can lock the wheel in your app as well. You can see your remaining range, of course, on here. You can see um, other riders around the world. This thing is 4,000 watts. Holy cow, I didn't even know that. Is it really 4,000 watts? That's insane. Oh yeah, dude. It's sweet. It rides good, man. You can just tell, like, the power delivery on this thing is nice. Like, definitely nice. Oh yeah, dude. Think, man, in motion, think about that. Think about setting up a little gig where we can upgrade our rims from the old InMotion V12s. Literally 
outstanding wheel. One thing on it I wanted to upgrade is the rim, and I think that being able to do that to the old wheels should be a possibility for the guys that have already bought an InMotion V12, for sure. But I think this wheel has definitely been refined. I think it was an awesome wheel. I think at the price point, this will ride off-road. It'll be a city commuter. And I think, I mean, this is literally like a thousand dollars less than going with like an S20 and whatnot. And it really does, you know, it does a lot of the same thing. It's not exactly the same and it's not going to ride, you know, over those rocks and the extreme stuff on the trails like the S20 does. But for what you're paying, you're getting a great machine with the InMotion V12. And I think the InMotion V12 high torque is going to be a phenomenal wheel. And... I haven't even rode it yet, but we're about to go out and see it. So this is just going to be an unboxing video, standalone, with my inputs of what I think you know in motion should should do to help us out with the with the old V12s, guys. Anybody that has a V12 out there, I think should be able to pay about 180 bucks and get a new rim, upgraded rim to throw in it, a high torque motor and rim. And I think if it works, there might be something in there that makes it where it doesn't work, and you know the reciprocity of these two might not be there but if it is a viable thing to do the in motion should definitely make some way to match serial numbers or something so the guys that have already bought one can go ahead and upgrade i know that's a long rant but that's the way i feel about it anyways it's been chooch i will see you dudes in the next one And I think the build the build quality on this wheel was I mean just awesome guys. I mean I wrecked the piss out of this thing a lot in the last one and it did no damage to it like straight up. And so I think everything on this wheel is great. I think the one thing you need to upgrade to the pedals on the N Motion V12 and it's easy to do. The pedals are the I mean Clark pedals on this thing are what I'm probably going to throw on here. But I love it dudes. In motion V12, baby, high torque. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I'm so excited about this, dude. It's such a good wheel. Now, off road capabilities are improved, dude. Hey, there's another in motion V12 right there. What is that one doing? I think I was riding that one just earlier. And then this one came in the mail. What about that? Need some ur in the tire, boy. 
and motion's like, yo, we upgraded the rim on the unicycle, and so to make sure you know we upgraded the rim on the unicycle, we're making this orange, bro. <laughs> and dude, it's way thicker. You can tell the rim is just, it, it is definitely thicker. And now we got this awesome tire on here to keep this thing, you know, keep some space in between the rim and the actual curb or whatever you're hitting. So let's actually, what does this thing say? What does the PSI it says in here? To pump it through, baby. Let's see, 40 PSI cold, guys. So it says 40 PSI cold. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run it at 40 PSI cold. Let's go. It came, just so you know, it came with 15 PSI in it, guys. So when you get this thing, you need to put air in the tire. Don't just get it and go ride it, guys. It came with 15 PSI in it. If you got it out of the box and just went and rode it like it is, and you hit a curb, you would crack even the, probably the upgraded rim. So go put air in the tire. <laughs> I put it at 42, so whenever I do that, a little bit of air loss, bring it back down to 40. Right there, 40 PSI, exactly what is recommended, and that's how I'm going to ride it. And that's how y'all are going to see me ride it. So, just so you know, with the upgraded rim, orange rim, dude, look at that, we matching. V12 high torque, upgraded rim, orange, so you know it's upgraded. Kickstand action, uh. Sweet wheel, I'm excited about it. I'm about to go ride this thing like crazy. I was missing the S20 I had to send back, so I'm gonna go really ride the piss out of this one. You. And you can definitely tell like even even the rubber on the flaps upgraded back here little things um, that haven't really been talked about power buttons orange right there on this one um, the knobby tire is ridiculously nice on this one I love the tire guys pump that thing up to 40 psi right up the box I think it's awesome that this whole wheel I did as the orange KTM thing and then boom, check this out. Like this one already has the orange anodized rim on it, dude. And they're like, yo, we upgraded the rim and put a knobby tire on it right out of the box. And so like, dude, that's that's uh, that's sweet, man. I like that a lot. To this wheel, they're absolutely killing it, guys. And even the display looks different. Um, The display looks like it's even, it, it, it even looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit different than the other one when it's powered on and you actually can see it. Um, it's just charging right now. Got it chilling, charging. But sweet wheel, man. I, I mean, I literally raced this one. This is the one I took and raced at Apple Valley in normal in motion V12. So it's a good, great wheel, guys. You see, I, I wrecked the whole front bumper off of it. And it didn't mess up the screen or anything whenever I crashed because I put all that front bumper on it. So I'm going to have to uh, probably put, build a new one for the new high torque wheel. But yeah, man. What's better than one in-motion V12? Two in-motion V12s. And an upgraded one. High torque. Let's go.